As a, as a familiar, but uh, however it should be blessed uh, again now as part of the uh, integral uh, reception uh, as a novice.
the blessing of the crucifix, editorium nostrum in nomine Domini, Dominus Hobiscum, Ores Omnipotens and Deus. Anca quaesimus imaginem in memoria unigenti filii tui Domini nostri Jesu Christi adoptam and benedice dei et uh, sanctificare in mieris, uh, et presta ut hic famos tuus iugite corpus uh, corum ipsis uh, unigenitum filium tuum supplicite colore sudens, ilius uh, meritis et obtentu Ate gratiam in presenti et eternum gloriam obtiniat in futuro per iundem Christum Domini nostrum. Amen. Blessing with the Rosary. Editorium nostrum in nomine Domini. Dominus Fabiscum. Orius. Omnipotens misericos Deus qui propter eximiam. Caritatum tuam, qua dilexisti nos filium tuum unigenitum dominum nostrum Jesum Christum, de celis in terra descendere et de beate Mariae virginis utero sacrutissimo, angelo nunciante canem suscipere crucem ac mortem subire, et tertia die gloriose resurgere a mortuis voluisti, ut nos eripedes de potestate diaboli, Obsecramus immensam clementiam tuam, ut hoc signum rosarii in honorem et laudem eustem genitricis filii tui, ab ecclesia tua fidelite dicata, benedicas et sanctifices, eique tantam in fundas virtutem spiritus sancti, ut quicumque huius quadlibet secum, uh, potabrit et in eo ad te divina contemplando misteria devoti orabrit, salubrii ac perseveranti devrozione abundet, ab omni hoste visibili et invisibili, semper et ubique in hoc seculo liberetur, ac in exitu suo ab ipsa beatissima Maria Virgine Dei genitrici tibi plenus, ob peribus bonis presentari meriatur, Perinum Christum Dominum Nostrum. The blessing of the Chiton, the uh, major part of the habit. Editorium Nostrum in Nomine Domini. Dominus Fabiscum. Oremus. Domine Jesu Christe, qui existens in the forma Dei, formam servi ac cipre in similitudinem omni fieri et uh, habitu invenire ut homo, pro nostra salute dignatus es, te supletes uh, oramus ut istam nostre congregationis vestem benedicere dignieris ut hic famulus tuus frate noste, Ipsam induens, per te per imitationem induat celeberimum omnis perfectionis exemplum, qui vivus et regnas in saecula saeculorum. Mm. The blessing of the Cincha. Auditorium nostrum in nomine Domini. Dominus Fabiscum. Oremus. Deus qui ut servum absolvere a filium at ligari voluisti. Benedicta cinglum istum, ut famus tuus frata noste, qui eo cingetur, vinculorum eustem filii tui Domini nostri Iesu Christi memor exist, ex, existet, ut in via quam in greditur salubriter persever, perseveret et tuis cum affectu semper obsequiis se aligatum esse cognoscat, per iundum Christum Dominum nostrum. And finally, the blessing of the scapular of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Editorium nostrum in nomine Domini. Dominus Fabiscum. Et cum Spiritus. Eterne parter et omnipotens Deus, qui unigenitum tuum vestem nostre mortalitatis induere voluisti, obsecramus immensam tuae largitatis benedictionem, in hoc genus e fluere vestimenti quod sancti patres et innocentiae et humilitatis indicium uh, a renunciantibus seculo gestare saxerunt et sic ipsam benedicere dignieris 
Ut qui cumque eo unus fuerit in duere mediator ipsum dominum nostrum Jesum Christum filium tuum, qui tecum vive regniat unitati spiritus sancti Deus, per omnia saecula saeculorum. Amen. Oh, oh, oh. 
Since indeed you desire to be received into this congregation for the love of Jesus Christ, and you have decreed uh, to, co to consecrate yourself totally to God, I receive you as a novice, having to be clothed in the habit of our congregation, in which, as I hope, you will uh, faithfully persevere to your vows, which will be given in due time. I apologize. I forgot to give the sermon, which should have come before that, uh, before your, your uh, statement of your desire, but I will give it now uh, because it's actually um, quite an apt mistake. Um, so for a, a blessing on the sermon, and hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen, Mother of God. Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Dear Oliver, quite a, uh, a different place, I suspect, uh, than uh, where you might have imagined, let's say, a year ago, being received into the corrugation. Had you imagined it a year ago, 
I suspect probably yes. I've been uh, very impressed uh, during your time uh, here with precisely what you just said uh, to me then. My soul firm and decided. You've never, I remember my own uh, postulacy and, and the vision, and something that's a characteristic note of most of the, of, of the people I've encountered uh, who go through the postulacy and you've got this kind of tearing, I suppose, inside of am I called, aren't I called, should I or shouldn't I, is this what I'm supposed to do, is this God's will for me? Perhaps you've had that going on inside you, but you certainly haven't given any indication of it. Uh, in, the, in the months that you've been here, you've only ever shown uh, a, a soul firm and decided. And that's a beautiful thing to have, and this is a beautiful day uh, on which to, in a sense, uh, bring that desire to a fruition. Uh, the day on which uh, Our Lady took our Lord and, and offered Him in the temple, made that sacrifice, not yet made, it was to come, the sacrifice of, of our Lord on the cross, going to be in the future, you know, the vows, the, the, the vows of, of poverty, chastity and obedience are compared to the nails of the cross on which, the, the, uh, which our Lord was crucified, which the religious will be uh, crucified his life, a life of crucifixion uh, for God. And that's to come. And it's to come for you, please God. But here today, you verify, you formalize the propositum, the desire, the, the informal, unofficial, if you like, consecration that you've already made to God. The desire that you've already made. My soul firm and decided, you said. Already made. You've given yourself already to God. Here, publicly, uh, amidst the brethren, you give it out. So we all hear it and, and I hear and say, yep, we've all heard it. The church represented by us here, and I suppose by extension by those watching, uh, has heard your propositum, your desire. But it's only a formalization of that that you already have. And this is sort of analogous to Our Lady now taking Our Lord uh, and, and presenting Him, making that offering, even now, that willing offering of her son and of, her, of herself, also as co-redemptrix, uh, in anticipation of the time that would come. Today is also a very beautiful day for you to, uh, to make your, your uh, propositum formal, for you to be clothed and received officially. Uh, into the congregation of the Most Holy Sons of the Most Holy Redeemer as a novice, because it coincides with Abba Michael's 50th uh, anniversary of his vows. He has been a religious. You're 20 years old. 19. 19. Wow, even better. He's been, a, he's been a religious for two and a half times longer than you've been alive. Uh, that is, is a beautiful image of the old and the new. And of the perseverance to which you are called. You are here today doing essentially what he did over 50 years ago. He has been faithful to his propositum. He has been faithful to the promise that he gave God 50 years ago and more. That is an image for you. It's an image for all of us. 
but it's very specially today an image for you. That what you do now feels nice and fluffy. And it's a joyful day and we, uh, I remember my own clothing day, one is totally absorbed in the joy of the day and one couldn't imagine the crosses and difficulties that were to come. But they will come and perseverance coming to us only through the hands of Our Lady is that grace which we must all pray for and desire ardently that in 50 or 55 or 60 or 70 years time you will still be here on Papa Stranzi or in Christchurch or in Tanzania or wherever we happen to have the monastery still faithful to the promise that you make today. And you can see, when you consider this, when you consider what we've just said of the propositum, of the desire, of it being in comparison to Our Lady and Our Lord in the Temple, making their promise, making their offering, why St. Alphonsus says that if you were to enter the congregation, or enter religious life, let's say, but the congregation for our purposes today, if you were to enter without a vocation, God would at that point give you a vocation. So that this time of novitiate isn't really a time, yes it is legally, it's a time when you can say, oh yeah, well you know, it's not really for me and push off. Uh, and it's a time when we can say, well, yeah, it should be for you, but you're not, there's some reasons why you, it's not possible and, and you'll have to leave. But all other things being equal, your propositum is made. Our Lord and Our Lady, they didn't take back their promise. It wasn't like, oh, yeah, well, we've got 30 years now, 33 years to kind of decide if this is something we want to do. They made their promise and they were faithful to it. You have made yours. And though the time of your crucifixion, your spiritual crucifixion, your vows, is not now, nonetheless the promise on which those vows are based, the promise from which they will bloom, is made here today. And so, in a beautiful day, you, the youngest of the congregation, both in age, I believe, and uh, in years of, of clothing, today is your first, you are the little baby Jesus being taken into the temple and presented through me into the arms of the old man Simeon, Abba Michael, who 50 years of religious life receives you today through uh, me, his, uh, his representative here into our congregation. Be deeply grateful to God for the calling that he's uh, given you and the inspiration that he has given you and be resolved to persevere uh, with him through the difficulties that will doubtless come.